Final Finger Puppet Management Presentation by Team Rocket Potato. Big Perfect TV is a television streaming service with its headquarters located in downtown Tampa. It follows Pod, the founder and CEO of the company, as he deals with the day-to-day -day trials and tribulations that come with running a business. He operates the company with his employees, Eve, Manly, Lewis, and Eliza. The overarching storyline is the competition between Big Perfect TV and Mr. Lopez, Pod's father-in-law that wants Big Perfect TV to fail. Mr. Lopez uses his spy, Lewis, to try and sabotage Pod and friends. Over the course of the show, however, true and just management techniques prevail. As each episode airs, Mr. Lopez becomes a less competent manager, while Pod and his employees grow and learn to better manage not only their subordinates, but also themselves. Pod is the CEO of Big Perfect TV. Pod just wants his company to be successful. He's always thinking about how to measure the growth of the online community. He enjoys keeping up with quantitative metrics such as followers or retweets, but prefers observing more qualitative engagements like conversations. He also looks at other factors such as increases in online traffic. Eve is the company manager who prefers intimidating others instead of cooperating with them. She's known for being aggressive. She's quick to get defensive when a person expresses a point of view that is different from hers. She also places more focus on her and her husband, Pod's needs rather than taking other needs into consideration. Mainly has been working with the company for over 10 years. He's a laid back employee. Mainly and Lewis do not get along at the office. Lewis is always threatening Mainly, but because he is so laid back, he simply ignores her and hopes she'll step down eventually. Even though he knows she is typically in the wrong, he never stands up to her. Despite all this, he's the only employee who cares about the future of the company. Eliza is the beautiful employee. She has long brown curly hair and is known for always trying to seduce Pod. She's very manipulative and easily gets her way. Mr. Lopez is the company's number one enemy. Even though he is Pod's father-in-law, Mr. Lopez does not have Pod's best interests in mind. While Mr. Lopez does not have his own company, he is very wealthy and wants Big Perfect TV to fall into a financial crisis, so Pod is forced to partner with him. Lewis is the spy who works for Big Perfect TV. She's been working with them for a couple of months now and is trusted by Pod. Lewis always helps Pod make financial decisions. Her main objective is to make sure Mr. Lopez knows about everything that is going on within the company. However, Lewis is secretly trying to find ways to bring down Big Perfect TV. We'll use episodes four and six as examples. The concept of episode four revolves around office etiquette, manners, and overall ethical decision-making. During one workday, Eliza and Lois are having verbal confrontations with Mainly. They insult one another and call each other names, turning attention away from their work and distracting one another. Pod hears this and calls an emergency meeting in the conference room. He uses a universal approach to ethics, which stated plainly is, do unto others what you would want done to you. Pod decides to incorporate a comment box in the office so that if any conflicts arise in the future, he or Eve will be able to resolve them quickly. The concept of episode six deals primarily with the results and consequences of communication, or really the lack of it. In this episode, we see Pod has just entered blindly into a contract with an investor who turns out to be a close friend of Big Perfect TV's biggest rival, Mr. Lopez. Pod solicits the help of his most trusted employee, Mainly, who then discovers a clause which allows the contract to be voided within 24 hours. They both agree that in the future, major business decisions will be discussed in meetings that allows everyone to give input, criticism, and feedback. General conclusion on management. Defining management is not easy. Most authors in management have given their own definition. The word management has become very fashionable since about 20 years ago and it is associated with many nouns. 
everything is managed. It is, however, possible to determine the constants of this notion. There is a fashion effect that involves associating this word with all the nouns used in companies to make it modern. Everything is managed. We talk about quality management, total quality management, process management, risk management, project management, men management, strategic management, management of environment, and etc. To the extent that management has become an object to which it applies, the company, and that there are reproducible laws, management can be considered as a science. It is also a technique or a set of processes and method of an art, a trade, and industry. Management is not only a knowledge, but also a practice, a know-how. In fact, the management brings together a coherent set of other sciences and techniques, psychology, economics, sociology, management, ergonomics, statistics, computer science, strategy, quality, security, and etc. To make available to the manager the tools necessary for its activity, the word art may be defined in the following way. Aptitude, ability to do something. For management, it is not enough to copy recipes or methods learned in books, but they must be applied with relevance and finesse. The manager uses all their art to combine the sciences and techniques of management to implement a solution that is elegant yet effective. In conclusion, as seen in our episode shows, the manager will have to rely on all the components of management science to deploy his art to achieve the goals of the company management systems. Compared to how we work as a team now, our group feels that we definitely came a long way since the beginning of this course. We all agreed that communication was our biggest struggle at the beginning. For the majority of this project, Mommy was the team leader. She made sure each of us knew what our roles were for each assignment. She helped create the episode scripts and outlines. Dallas gathered information and also helped create the episode outlines along with the character profiles. Randy helped create the episode outlines as well as voicing a character for one of our first assignments. Derek contributed by writing episode scripts, creating the video for Design Challenge 5, and he came up with the plot for Episode 5. Ryan was in charge of creating all the animated episodes and assembling the midterm and final presentations. Mommy learned that leading a group is very challenging because of the communication involved and because of the fact that everyone is different and, con and contributes differently. Randy learned how crucial scheduling, communication, and teamwork are in order to be a successful team. Derek lear learned that working in a group is a lot more difficult than he had expected, especially when it comes to working with people you've never met before. Dallas also realized how much more difficult group work can be than working by oneself, but that it can be much more manageable as long as everyone meets their deadlines for their assigned task. Ryan learned how important it is to know every group member's strengths because that way they can be assigned tasks that fit them best. Recommendations for future students. Our team definitely had some struggles at the beginning of this project. With those challenges, we formulated a strategy to finish the coursework on time and to the best quality. Right from the beginning, we had communication issues. We had one extra teammate and were all confused as to what we were supposed to do. A couple of group members were able to meet while the rest had other obligations. To communicate effectively, a group chat was formed and members were introduced to each other. Assignment by assignment, we got better at decision-making and communication and things started to go more smoothly. We would suggest that you get some sort of group chat to introduce and discuss tasks right away. That way, if there are any questions or concerns, it will be easy to discuss and clear up. Since this is an all online course and extensive group work, communication is the most important thing that can possibly happen. Tools that we relied on were our textbooks, computers, video shop, Photoshop, Instagram, and etc. 
It depended on what the task and assignment was, but the internet and book was used the most. For communication, our team used the app WhatsApp, which is an easy to use group chat for people with all different types of phones. We were able to send voice memos, pictures, and videos, which made for easy transfer from member to member. Overall, our advice to others is to get the project rolling as soon as possible and to not wait until the last minute. Get familiar with your teammates and express any questions, comments, or concerns to one another.